EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. This one fielded at the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They go play action with Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 27, Jackson. And that's incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. To throw is Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 29-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Here's Jackson to throw. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line.
And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing is Jackson. Take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Ravens will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, CD, that was a well-orchestrated drive by Lamar Jackson. Yeah, and how about the way he capped it off, too? Orchestrate the drive and then let everybody know exactly who the guy is on the field. You've got to watch on every play. Finishes it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. New England's offense set to go. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 31, Jones, Henry's got it, out on the left side. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A give up the middle to Dobbins to the 27-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Jackson. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. He's able to knock that one away. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Jackson now. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly what they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the fumble recovery had them set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. Let's go, man. Let's go now. Let's go. 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 Let
So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second and six, just inside the 30. A first carry here for Ty Montgomery. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Jones. Complete, it's Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Harris going to get it again on second down. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. When you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. A nice little juke. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Someone's looking fresh, and his old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now here's another carry for Harris. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves him at third and one. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not getting yards. 
complete. Hunter Henry with the ground. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. That is incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Operating from the gun, Jones. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Patriots have got it back to within a score. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting the wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now Dobbins again on second down, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. 
And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands to try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. We'll be singing in the shower post game. Folk connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Ravens on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. That is brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little game. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. The deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Patriots take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're starting to put some space here. The you know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Operating from the gun, Jones. The result, only four yards there on the play. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Jones on third down. Incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Forty 
37-yard punt, a return of four. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Jackson on first down. That's complete left side to Bateman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Dobbins trying the left side. They'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Eight yards to go on second down. Now it's Jackson. Open man left side is Wallace complete. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. Third and seven now. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Jackson. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. They run the option here on first and 10. The quick feet by Jackson. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game up and out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Another run here with Dobbins. 
And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. From the seven, it's second and five. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And the hole closes quickly here. He can find only about the four. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Third and two, here's Jackson. Flushed out right, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens have regained the lead. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of the lane was really there and how much he created just through his talent. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. Maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. On second and very short, Jones toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 15 yards there for number 15. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Jones looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. 
Injuries delayed Rashad Bateman's arrival into the Baltimore Ravens lineup in 2021, but he still put up 515 yards in 12 games as a rookie. The Ravens do believe a 1,000-yard season is more than possible from their first rounder in 2022. Here, he gets them a first down. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 30 yards. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the six. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. But not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. A first and ten here. And, you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. On second and ten, Jones. And that is incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second and nine. 
So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. The Pats at the line ready to go. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. From the 27. Jones open receiver here complete it's Parker and they work this well up field across the 45 just his second catch of the game so far this one moves the chains but one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play never lock in on any one guy make sure you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup Now a first down carry for Harris. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From just shy of midfield, Jones. He completes it to Henry. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So that a real wrench thrown in now for this offense. They're trying to make a game of this in the third quarter, but that is not going to help. Yeah, partner, probably should have used a different tool on that play, right? That ultimately is the kind of play where you can lose a ball game instead of being in a position to win. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. New England trying to get the place on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And over the middle, this is Parker. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. 
When we talk all the time about playing situational football right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. They'll try the right side with Harris. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Caught by Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Jones now to throw on third down. And this is Parker, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. That gain on third down, good for 28. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. 64 yards on the ground for him so far. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Looking to throw. Jones and right side Henry's got it and he stopped after a gain of one not enough still a yard to go on third down as a defense you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you they're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage ninth play coming up here on this drive this is third and a yard toward the pylon caught and the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Operating from the gun, Jones. They still can't get it. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Montgomery. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? On for the extra point is Folk. And the lead is trimmed down to 10.
Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded right around the eight. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Ravens offense back out there. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down moving. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. On second down, this is Harris. They juked him on a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. So both teams train touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Off play action, Jones. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And caught by Henry. And I don't think he got there, no. He's 
short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The folks' kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. they got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. score after the field goal a moment ago so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs likely on the ground as they begin first and ten they'll start on the ground with Dobbins and he works his way forward to pick up four yards there second down now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. They'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's Jackson to throw. Open man is Bateman. It's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. On first and 10, it's Dobbins to about the 48-yard line. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The offense on third down tonight. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. After the sack on first down, Jackson, he's got his man. It's Andrews. 
And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. That would complete to Prochet. And he will have a Ravens first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now, there was a time when I would have been upset at teams throwing the ball with a big lead late, but I've evolved a little bit. I've come around. Ultimately, they're looking for first downs, and if they think the air is the best place to do it, then so be it. In addition, you probably got a quarterback. It's a nice bonus if he keeps completing passes. So they want to keep throwing the football? Fine by me. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And now here come the Ravens. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. And another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. 
Tucker's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So now Jones and the Patriots down by 10. Just over a minute 40 to play. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and 10. Jones. And this is caught by Parker. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case. Down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So from the 36 now. First and 10. To throw is Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Jones. Able to complete it to Montgomery. And he's got Rome. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Jones. His throw incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now Jones. And yeah, this is caught. It's Parker. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 22-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Jones to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point up and good by Folk. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And who's got it? I think the Ravens do. Yes. And they're going to win this football game. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win.